mi amor. I was headed to the DFW International Airport when I realized, or I was told, that there was a hurricane that just hit Southern California. I had a flight scheduled to head to Los Angeles. I had meetings lined up all this week. I had training sessions with our VIP realtors in Cali. However, due to the weather and hopefully everybody's safe and secure and not too much damage has been caused, God willing. But I'm gonna make the best of it. I'm going to stay here in Dallas. And instead of just staying home, I just wanna hang out and do a staycation downtown Dallas. So hang out with me. I think we're gonna to head to the Thompson Hotel right there in downtown, have some dinner, hit some different bars. It is during the week. However, if you wanna know what it's like to live right here in Dallas, or maybe you wanna visit on a weekend, hang out with me, check out the video. Step right on in, guys. We are at the Thompson Hotel right here in downtown Dallas. This hotel is absolutely amazing. We've assisted many tenants lease right here in the same building. There is an apartment high-rise luxury community called the National. So very familiar with this building. I've been up to the rooftop pool many times, as well as there's several awesome restaurants actually one of my favorite restaurants is right here in this building. It's called The Monarch, some great steaks, seafood. So I'm not going to have to leave the building unless I choose to do so. But I want to give you a tour of the hotel. So if you're ever in town, whether it's on a staycation like myself, or you're one of our VIP royalty clients in town just for the weekend so we can show you some homes before you relocate. This is definitely a hotel to consider. Directly in front of me, you're going to have stunning views from this living area. The views are spectacular of the most famous, iconic skyline in the world, and that's the Dallas skyline. We have a couch, a seat, we have a flat screen TV, plenty of shelves directly right in front of me, and above all, even though I shouldn't have done it, there's a desk where I place my laptop, and whether I want a couple of days off or not, you already know. I'm going to work at least half the day. We have a full bar set up right here. I don't even want to know the prices. Okay, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk across the street to that 7-Eleven, grab myself a couple of bottles of cab, because I am not trying to spend $20 a drink while I'm at this hotel. Now, let's walk across the hall. Oh, here's my baby. Oh, there she goes. She doesn't want me to pick her up. We have a seating area directly in front of me. We have a closet, but let's check out the bedroom as we walk across the hallway. Guys, it is absolutely stunning. King size bed, flat screen TV. We have plenty of drawers as well, but above all, I don't know if I've told you guys, I love, love, the downtown Dallas skyline. I am so excited to lay here and just take in the beautiful buildings that surround this particular building. It's going to be great, but not only from the bedroom, living room, as well as the primary bathroom, the views are absolutely stunning. Once again, though, what a huge bedroom. I have a sitting area before I go to bed. Listen, I'm just gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have a damn good time and have an enormous amount of margaritas and drinks here in the next couple of days. So we're gonna hang out, have a good time, do a little bit of work while we're doing it. And if you follow me, this is just going to be a stunning primary bathroom. I, I don't know why I'm saying primary bathroom. It's the only bathroom here in the hotel. Looks amazing, I love the countertops, under lighting. We have a massive stand-up shower with a cool looking rain head above. Check out this soaking tub. Wow, looks amazing. Best of all is that I'm laying here. I am going to take in some awesome views of downtown Dallas. I have a good little area right here where I'm going to put 
I don't know if some kind of drinks while I soak here. Typically, I don't enjoy taking baths. I'm a shower guy as I'm always on the go, go, go. However, we're gonna slow down and have a dang good time. Now I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna give my cat a couple of kisses. Then we're heading downstairs to grab an appetizer and a couple of drinks. And we're going to figure out which restaurant in this building that we're going to dine at tonight. So I'll see you downstairs. What a beautiful day in downtown Dallas. Guys, I'm here at the pool on the ninth floor. The views are absolutely amazing. Gosh, I just, I love the downtown Dallas skyline. It gives me energy, it makes me smile. I just love looking at these stunning buildings, these high rises. It is absolutely amazing. I wish I would have had my camera earlier. I went to the Cat Bird restaurant. I believe that's the name right here on the ninth floor. The food was amazing. The drinks, however, were awesome. I didn't take my camera. There's a patio that overlooks downtown that looks great. I'm sure tomorrow night, hopefully, I'll make it back there once again. However, so far, the hotel staff, the amenities, the gym. Again, I didn't take my camera, guys. I'm trying to chill a little bit for the next couple of days, but I'm sure I'll hit up the gym tomorrow morning. Hopefully, I'll take the camera, but so far, so good. If you want to visit Dallas, I highly recommend the Thompson Hotel. It is five stars all the way. In addition to that, if you want to live in a high-rise apartment, we've already toured the National Apartments uh, in a previous video, so make sure you check that out. Not sure what we're going to do tomorrow. I'm sure we're going to hit the gym, maybe go for a walk, maybe hit up Cloud Warren Park. However, it is summertime in Dallas, so uh, I don't think we're going to walk around too much tomorrow. But the great thing about living right here in downtown Dallas is we have access to the museum district. We have Deep Ellum. We have Victory Park as well. So there's a lot of different little sub areas right here in Dallas. However, check this building out right here. You see that green building right behind me? It's the Bank of America Plaza, AKA, as my youngest son calls it, the green monster. Guys, from right here on the ninth floor, right here by the pool, the views are absolutely spectacular. I can see pretty much most of the buildings downtown Dallas. It is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna order myself one, two, three, four, five more margaritas before I retire for the night and call it an evening. Now, if your animal loves you as much as mine, I've been gone for several hours. This is a pet-friendly hotel, which is absolutely awesome. Your pet should be waiting at the door. Let's see if Sophia really loves her dad. Let's check this out. I got a feeling she's gonna be waiting. Well, wow. Apparently, I'm gonna have to trade her in for a dog or something. Wow, amazing. Guys, after having four or five margaritas at the restaurant and seeing the bill, which was outrageous, <laughs> it is not cheap if you want to dine or have drinks here within this building. However, the food was exceptional. The margaritas were amazing. The views were spectacular. The service was a one. However, if you're going to spend an extended amount of time in this hotel, it's probably best that you walk across the street. The convenience of staying downtown is amazing. There's a CVS. There's also a 7-Eleven, that's where I went. I got myself a bottle of Cab, got myself some waters, some chocolate, and of course, the very best chips that money can buy. After having the margaritas, I, I ordered myself a very nice steak with some sides. I also had dessert. Somehow, after swimming for two hours, I am extremely hungry yet again. And while there are numerous options right here within the building where there is exceptional dining options, the issue is it's going to be very, very expensive. So I'm not trying to spend hundreds of dollars each time I eat. So I'm about to order myself some Domino's, some Pizza Hut. And typically what I order is a thin crust, large pepperoni sausage jalapeno pizza and that is what's on the menu for tonight with my cab my fries i'm going to eat right here in the living area retire 
in the primary suite and take in the beautiful views of downtown Dallas. So I will see you tomorrow morning. We'll figure out what we're going to get into. <laughs> Okay, made it down to the ninth floor. I finally was able to sleep in till about 7.30 this morning, which felt great. Very rarely do I get a chance to do that. About to enjoy some breakfast here at the hotel. Once again, there's numerous dining options, but this breakfast looks incredible. Took a very short walk from the hotel, probably two blocks down the street. We hit Maine, we're at the AT&T district. A lot of buildings, AT&T's world headquarters, or the Dallas headquarters anyway, or right here in this particular area. There's the AT&T Experience Store right in front of me. A lot of different restaurants, bars here as well. I actually haven't been to this particular area of downtown Dallas, glad that I did. It's Tuesday, so not a lot going on. It's about 11 a.m. I can definitely see a lot of excitement and entertainment going on right here in the weekend, so definitely something to explore here in the near future. Just walking around downtown, as you can see behind me, the buildings and the architecture is absolutely amazing. I love downtown Dallas. I love the energy. I love the buildings. Anytime that I'm flying into DFW Airport and we fly over downtown, or especially when I visit our offices in San Antonio, Austin, and Houston, and if I'm coming up 45 North or 35 North and I see that skyline in the distance, my heart just starts pounding with excitement and just joy because I see my city coming up and it's also home. So love the Dallas skyline. Let's walk around downtown some more, see what else we can get into. I was told by the young man right behind me, eyeball has been moved right across the street. So I'm going to check it out. And uh, we might not walk around too much today, guys, because it is summertime and uh, starting to glisten. Okay, it's starting to get hot, even at 11 a.m. So let's check it out. Guys, it's starting to get hot. The perspiration is real. Right across the street is the Jewel Hotel. I have not stayed there yet. They do have an awesome pool that hangs over onto Main Street. However, I chose our hotel because I just feel it's way better. But that's definitely a place that my youngest son would like to visit. Directly in front of me is the eye. I don't know what the big deal is, but it's a huge eyeball right here looking right at me. And it's a big landmark where people like to come take photos of it. Uh, quite frankly, as far as I'm concerned, it kind of looks demonic. And uh, not to get into conspiracy theories, but it's probably just a symbol of somebody's always watching your ass. So anyway, there's the big eyeball. Let, let's turn around and check it out so we can see the people. Check this out. Look at that thing. Got the veins popping out the side of the eye. Eh, I'm just not feeling it, guys. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling that eye. I'm not feeling the heat. So we're gonna head back to the hotel, jump in the pool and, and order a margarita or two. Again, it's our day off, so why not? Let's have a good time. Okay, babe. Now, the good thing about being right here in this location is you can grab the DART train and it's going to take you throughout the city of Dallas and most of the suburbs as well. However, it's too hot to be doing all that, guys. As you can see, here comes another one as well. Just wrapped up breakfast at the nine at the national great place with some awesome views guys last night we had such a freaking good time however i didn't want to take a big bulky camera upstairs we had an early dinner and drinks at the cat and bird restaurant i believe something like that the staff was amazing the food ah, okay the food was mediocre let me just keep it a hundred with you However, the drinks were amazing. And I don't think you're necessarily going to the Catbird for fine dining per se, even though it's extremely expensive. You're going there for the atmosphere and the 
iconic views of the skyline of Dallas. Later on in the evening, change. I actually dressed up for a change, guys. We headed up to Kasako, Kasaki, something like that, okay? I'm probably butchering the name. <laughs> However, the sushi there was amazing. It was great, had drinks. Once again, the panoramic views are absolutely spectacular. So if you wanna go out on a date night and you have that special young lady that you want to impress or maybe you're celebrating something, definitely hit up one of these restaurants. You'll be glad you did. Ended up wrapping up the night back at the Catbird. Had a couple more drinks. Just had a dang good time. I was able to people watch a lot of entertainment going on in the evening right here at the Thompson. I was able to sleep in this morning, woke up about 7.30, got on the laptop, got some more work done. Guys, the phone doesn't stop ringing. The emails keep flooding my inbox. So uh, <laughs> it was definitely a working staycation to say the least. We're about to head up to our North Dallas office. I gotta get back to work, guys. It's very difficult for me just to take a day or two off is just not going to happen. I am so blessed and fortunate that I'm able to do what I love to do. So I have to head back. I have a Zoom training this afternoon with my agents. We're going to train on search engine optimization and internet marketing. And I have a couple of offers that I need to review. In addition to that, this evening, I will be at the local YMCA for two one-on-one -on -one trainings with some of my basketball players. I'm gonna wrap it up at LA Fitness so I can work out myself. So we definitely keep a hectic and very busy schedule here in Dallas, Texas. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me in downtown Dallas. I know I didn't get to video most of the things that we did, especially in the evening, but take my word for it. Definitely hit up these restaurants. Enjoy a staycation here at the hotel. A lot, a lot of amenities. And there's plenty of areas that you can walk near right here the hotel as well. So for now, I will see you on the next video.